All right, guys, today we got to make these limb risers fit this green 850J, and I got a special helper here today. All right, we got an 850J in the shop that we sold to a customer, I think in North Carolina or South Carolina. We got to put a set of limb risers to go up here and catch brush and trees and stuff. I got my special hunter, helper, Hunter. Hey. Can you say hi? Hi. Hunter's my youngest son. He's 13. Yeah. And Tucker is actually here today too. They're off school this week. It's Thanksgiving week. So Tucker's actually up making uh, decals. He makes decals for all the equipment it has for about a year. So I've got a machine set up here for him. So. This is a set of limb wires. It's actually a used set we've had here for a while. It come off of 850J civilian model. And this part here actually bolts on the hood. I don't know if you guys can see that. The hood goes underneath there where it's curved. Unfortunately, all these military tractors have lifting hooks on them. You guys can see that hook right up here. Well, that's where those limb risers are supposed to sit on there and bolt on those bolts up here in the side these bolts right right up there there's two of them unfortunately all that stuff's in our way so nothing fits right on these the military's got tie downs on all these tractors they like to lift them up with helicopters cranes or whatever and they like to tie them down well this stuff like this here is different than the civilian tractor they don't have any of this stuff here so anyway we got to uh modify these limb risers everybody asked me you know they buy these tractors off of us why does it cost so much to install these well this is the reason why this stuff is not on the regular civilian tractors so we're going to uh probably cut the ears off on that and make them come up on the inside here i'll get it up here and i'll explain that a little bit later and also on top of the cab the civilian ones have threaded holes up there to bolt the other part of the limb risers onto this being a military cab, if you guys can see right here, these two big bolts. This is different than a civilian cab. This cab actually splits right here at this seam. Look, these windows, they unbolt, come out. So they've got this way this cab splits down so it's not as tall. The doors come off and uh, you can see it splits right here. Doors come off to reduce the height down, probably to go in a uh, airplane, cargo ship or something like that. Um, for whatever reason and the doors are all the same so the civilian ones you can put civilian glass in them and all that stuff but they call it a split cab but anyway it does not have the threaded holes in the top of it so what we're going to do first is uh probably get these legs off that go on top of the cab because this thing's out of balance we're going to unbolt these bolts here and i'm going to have to make some threaded inserts for the top of the cab and then we'll probably probably going to cut these off right here then we'll make a bracket that comes up and bolts the side of that ear somehow so we're going to get these unbolted Hunter's going to be my trusty helper for the day yeah and you guys can follow along all right we're going to get these bolts on easy and do the other side don't let the bolt come out. A little bit more. Okay. Alright, I'm going to have you pick that up a little bit with a forklift. And then we'll take those legs out. So with these legs on there, this thing's real heavy and awkward and out of balance. We don't want to scratch the paint up on the new tractor either. You see how the front's lifting up and the back's not. Alright, that's good. All right, we're going to get these legs off. All right, spin this out. It's probably going to lift up right 
So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut these ears off here. I'll do a little measuring so we can fit that hood up there. Probably kind of set it on this table here a little bit. There roughly in the hood brackets. So this thing's about a quarter inch wider. Gives a little room to play. So I think um, what we'll do, we'll cut this off in here. Then we'll make a couple plates on the plasma table to match those ears up there.
point and no return. Alright, so we're going to get these uh, cleaned up, ground off, and we'll probably get it tested on the dozer up there next. Alright, we got the ears ground off. The hunter's going to bring her up here and get her set up on the dozer. Come on up. Yeah, go up a little more. All right, come on in. Straight in. Whoa. Go down a little bit. Go on down. Oh. Maybe down a little bit more. A little bit more. A little more. That's good. Shut her off. All right. Got her set up on there. A little bit of clearance on each side. So I think what we'll do, I'm gonna make a cardboard template, kind of match this ear here. And then what we'll probably do, we'll cut that out of 3 8 steel and match this. And we'll probably drill a hole through both sides of this ear and uh, bolt it up that way. Because what they were doing, they were wrapping around the corner before and using these two 10 millimeter bolts to hold it on. So we'll probably just reverse the thing be simple just to weld that on there but this little short hood comes off and there's a you can't get your radiator out and everything else so i'll step off here so you guys can kind of get the overall picture you guys can kind of see that there so it's what they call limb risers another name for them sweeps limb's supposed to rise up over and slide over top of the tractor or sweep it's supposed to sweep over so those other mounts we'll have to get up there that we took off. We got to weld on a couple threaded inserts up around top of the cab because those military cabs don't have them. But uh, Hunter's got, you got a piece of cardboard? Yeah. We're gonna get a piece of cardboard, make sure we're sitting right and get us a uh, pattern marked out and then we'll go to the plasma table. All right, we made this super sweet template here of the uh, ear up there to mount on the sweeps. I got it drawn up in sheet cam, got it transferred over to the cutting program. We're gonna see if it works.
What do you think about that? Looks pretty good. I think it fits pretty good. Radius matches good. That's what we'll do. We'll cut one more out and we'll probably uh, get them tacked on there. And then we'll, what we'll do, we'll drill a couple holes through here to fasten it that way. So we're gonna go back over there and cut one more of these out. I'll take that one and clean it up. Mm -hmm. and then we'll get them fitted up. All right, Hunter's getting our welder out. Um, we got our two half moon pieces cut for the sweeps up here. I want to show you guys these. We actually cut these out. I've made these before. Um, as I said earlier, that cab has no threaded inserts for those um, top pieces to fit on there. So what we're going to do, we cut these out of 3 8 um, I think they're like a 3 inch circle or so. I cut a spot out and we're going to weld a, uh, a 20 millimeter nut in there, which is what the factory used on the uh, civilian cabs. So what we're going to do, we're going to weld that nut in there solid and then we can take that bolt and bolt down through there. And this is spanning the load out on top of that cab a little bit too. So we just don't want to weld a nut on there. It puts more pressure on it. So that's going to span that load out. I was getting the welder set up. You going to tack him in there? Sure, yeah. Sure, he's a tacker. We're going to get these tacked up. And then I'll get them burned in. And then we'll get the ears. Probably get those tacked on next. So Hunter is getting ready to... Uh, smile. <laughs> Hunter is getting ready to tack these nuts on there. I got this bolt in there so we don't get any slag in the threads there so ready yeah put your couple tacks on there okay hit the other side I'll hit this side again a little bit Go ahead. Okay. All right, good job. You gonna weld the rest of them or you want me to? Oh, you're gonna do that. <laughs> okay. All right, we got that side tacked up and this side. We actually went ahead and drilled and bolted that side over there. We're getting ready to Drill and bolt this side. I actually didn't get the magnetic drill out. That steel was pretty soft, so we just been doing it with the battery drill. The magnetic drill takes uh, quite a bit of steel to stick on. But by the time I get this all ground off and get it stuck on there, and maybe have to add some steel for it, it's just as quick and easy to use the battery powered drill. So Hunter and I is going to get this side drilled out. You guys can watch. All right, we're on top of the dozer up here. So we got the uh, cab mount brackets on. Got them sitting up here, got everything lined up. And these are the pieces I showed you earlier that we cut out and weld the nut in. As you can see there's no threads in the top of this cab. I got one in there now. So what I'm gonna do is slide these under there. We'll mark where they sit. Then we'll grind off a uh, nice clean spot for them. Then we'll get them tacked on there and get them welded on. And then uh, once we got everything fitting the way we like it, we're gonna pull the limerizers back off 
because we got to paint those we got to finish welding those ends down there and paint them and then uh i think we'll be ready to put them back on for the last time so i'm gonna get these ground off up here all right got these spots ground off got our things sitting where they need to a little nut inserts hunter's gonna hold that cardboard up here while i weld so we don't get any weld spatter on the uh glass down below kind of protect the rest of the tractor so what i'm going to do is get these tacked in first and then what i'll do is actually weld probably some little short welds around so i don't want to get this really hot because there is a headliner and stuff in there it doesn't actually touch the metal right here there's a couple braces that go underneath those both ways but i don't want to get that too hot in the cab so what we'll do we'll just weld a little bit and we'll go to the other side jump back and forth on it so you ready let me get you up here hold it like that or no i need you to get you up here on top I'm not hitting my mouth yeah go back to where he was All right, so I got these all welded in here, all four places. What I'm going to do now is clean all it up. We're going to put a little primer on there, a little green paint, and then we're going to take the limb risers off here and weld those places up down there. All right, we're back up front. We're going to take these bolts out so we can take this back off and fully weld it and paint it. Set that there. Jiggle? Yeah, sure. Maybe. Do you think for you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. You can tap it out a little bit. Might have to get a punch or something too. Got it. Got one over here stuck. Got it. They were washer. Yeah, we'll get another washer. <laughs> so you want to hop on that forklift and pick this thing up? Try not to kill your dad in the process. to go
right on this table again, Hunter. Go down a little. Good job, right there. That'll work. Professional forklift operator. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna grab my welder and we'll get it over here. Yeah. So we're gonna get that all welded up, and then Kevin's gonna touch it up with a little bit of uh, John Deere charcoal to match the rest of this. And then after that dries, probably after lunch, we'll put those dudes back on there and get everything bolted up. That's right. That's pretty professional. Right here. Yeah. Craig, what do you think? Looking pretty good. What's it look like? First day at welding? No. Nope. No. All right, so we're gonna let this cool down and we're gonna sand this up a little bit. Paint these area down here on both sides. And it'll probably be lunchtime, won't it? Yeah. Where are you taking me to lunch at? I don't know. Why don't you know? I don't know anything. All right, we'll be back after we get this painted and go into lunch, after you figure out where you're taking me. All right, we're back after lunch. Was lunch good? Uh, What'd you uh, have? Spicy burrito. Spicy burrito Mexican. Yeah. So Kevin got this painted, it's all dried up. We're gonna take this and set it up there and bolt it up for the final time. You ready? Yeah. Fire your fork truck up.
Yeah. We're missing a uh, washer? Yeah, I think so. You wanna grab one? Yeah. All right, so we're getting bolts back on for the final time. We got washers, nylon lock nuts. Hunter's getting another washer. I'm gonna tighten these up. You ready? I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, looks good. I painted up nice. So, like I told you, the other bracket come down I actually used these two bolts. So we're using the same size bolt, actually just a little bit bigger up here. So basically, most of the weight's resting down on this piece here. So we're gonna go up top here and get those bolts fastened up, gearing lined up, and tighten it down. All right, we're back up top here. Got the things. Uh, Threaded inserts all painted. Actually have anti-seize in there, so hopefully next person takes this out won't have any issues. We got our bolts. We are having to use some washers or spacers because I don't bolt that short. So we're gonna try to get these fitted up in here. Let's see how good we did. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your bolt. You got one. You got a washer on it? Yep. Good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to pick up a little bit so we can get this board out of here, and then uh, you can set it down. We'll unhook you. So I had this board under here for a spacer. Just gonna set it down a little bit. I'll go ahead and tighten up a couple of bolts here. Hang on a second, I may have screwed you. That's good. Maybe I'll take the board out first. All right, go down. Go on down a little more. All right. Start going down. All right, we'll tighten these bolts up. That one. One more back here. Good 
Very tight. Tighten those up. Oh, lost your nut. So we just got uh, two more one inch bolts there to tighten up. When this project is done, we do have to put a hitch on here next. I'll show you guys that. Oh, you need a wrench. Yeah. I don't know, is there? Okay. Okay. Do the other side. Got a good clearance under there. Got her? Yeah. Beautiful. Here, I got a couple more tools for you. All right, we're gonna hop down. I'll show you the hitch we gotta put on next. All right, there's a view of the roof with me off of it. See, we got our bolts in there. Everything got clearance under there. Clearance under the side so it's not rubbing on the roof. Looking good. All right, so we're back down here in the ground. This customer decided he wanted a hitch on here. Military doesn't have hitches on mo most of them. They just got these tie down rings. We've got a uh, four bolt hitch that will bolt into these holes here, we hope, off the civilian tractor. Um, actually, Kevin and Tucker, my oldest, sandblasted it and painted this this morning. So we're gonna get, uh, it's just a used hitch off a of civilian tractor. We're gonna get some new one inch bolts for that, get those holes cleaned out in the back and we'll see if it fits. All right, so we're back here in these holes. And they uh, got some dirt and paint on, so we're gonna put a little WD-40 in there. You wanna run them, run these in here and see if they'll clean out. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful job. Yeah. All right, we got Hunter here and the boss come out. What's your name? My name is Bridget. Bridget. Sherwood. Yep. Clint's wife of 17 years. We got caught. Yeah. So, did you come out to help put this hitch on? Uh, yeah. To do it all, yeah. like it I always heavy. do. Watch it don't fall. So me and Hunter's getting ready to slam this hitch on here. While mom's watching, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good time. You ready? Uh, I think so. This thing only weighs a couple of pounds. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, we got denied. Yeah, I think denied. so. Denied, we got military welds. Military welds in the way. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, it goes way up here, Hunter. Oh, he cleaned the wrong holes out up here. Oh, snap. Okay. I'll blame that on you. How about that WD-40? See, I don't just watch. I participate. Yeah. yeah. So we cleaned the wrong holes out. Go ahead and try that. It might help. This plate's in the way now. Might be. Hmm. You ready? Yeah. Take two. Wait. 
Start? Yeah. That's good because it's getting heavy. Don't want to start. Don't want to start. There it goes. You got down below here. That looks better. That one start. Mm -hmm. Wiggle a little bit. Yeah. Makes it in the way. There, I think it went. Get that on this one. Hit them all a little bit, make sure they started. Go ahead, run them down top. How'd we do? Pick Pass. A plus. Pass? All right. Now we just got to find a pin for that. And this tractor is pretty much done. Maybe you guys will walk around. Limb risers installed. How's it look? It's good to me. Good? Ready to go to South Carolina or wherever it's going? Where's it going? South Carolina or North? North it's going on the East Coast, is all we know. Nice decals. Of yep. Tucker. Tucker made the decals for it, so. We're going to go find a pin. You know where a pin's at? Have no. Met, have they met Tucker yet? No, Tucker's making decals. We'll be back. All right, I found a pin over here in the pin bucket. It looks like a hitch pin. It's definitely out of a John Deere, so we'll see if it fits here. Oh, it looks perfect. What do you think about that? Solid. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect pin. So that guy's got him a little hitch, four bolt hitch. Got the limb risers on. And where do we figure out it was going? South Carolina. South Carolina. She actually looked it up, so. I want to make sure I'm right. Yep. So there you guys can see the limb risers we put on it. This tractor's ready to roll out the door, isn't it, Hunter? That's right. You want to fire it up? Sure. You guys like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed already, definitely do that. Hunter's turning the disconnect on. Always turn those off when we weld on them. You give us a thumbs up. We've got uh, a bunch more cool stuff coming out, don't thumbs we? Thumbs up for Hunter. That's give right. Thumbs up for Hunter. Thumbs up for Hunter. So. Definitely let us know if you like this kind of stuff. We've got uh, a winch install coming up next. I think we're going to work on Tucker's truck. And uh, actually got an attachment going on Mr. Dirt Perfect's dozer too, so you want to stick around. Thumbs up. Alright guys, we'll catch you on the next one.